workers. Sugarcane. One I name two diseases that affect sugarcane. We're tuning, smart, sugarcane mosaic. To name two pests that affect sugarcane. Termite, white scales, white grub. Three give four ways in which sugar is used. It is used as a sweetener for various foods and beverages. It is used in the making of sweets, chocolates, juices, spirits, and soft drinks. It is used as sweetener for syrups. Molasses is used in making livestock feeds. Cane residue, bay gas, is used as manure and fuel. It is used in making industrial alcohol e.g. ethanol. It is used in making confectionaries e.g. bread, cakes, biscuits. The filter cake that results from filtration is used as manure. Molasses is used in the manufacture of ethanol, acetone, and ethyl acetate. The brown coarse sugar is used in the manufacture of local brews. 2i. Give four physical conditions that favor the growing of sugar cane. 80. Sugar can grow well at an altitude of up to 1,600 mm above sea level. Sugar cane requires hot climate with temperature range of between 21 C and 27 C. Rainfall of between 1,250 mm and 2,000 mm well distributed throughout the year. Gently sloping undulating land topography to allow mechanization. A dry and sunny period season to allow for harvesting. Well-drained soils, black cotton or clay soils that retain water. Dry sunny harvesting spell which allows for maximum accumulation of sucrose and eases the harvesting and transportation. Two state three physical conditions that favor sugarcane farming in western Kenya. Deep well-drained soil black cotton clay soils loamy volcanic soil. High rainfall 1,200 mm, 1,500 mm well distributed throughout the year. High temperature of about 20C to 8C. Plenty of sunshine long periods of sunlight for sugar accumulation. Undulating gently sloping landscape which allows mechanization. 3. Describe the cultivation of sugar from land preparation stage to the harvesting stage. Land is cleared of its natural vegetation and plowed using either tractors or inox drawn plows. Hallowing is then done to loosen the large lumps of soil. Shallow furrows are dug at intervals of 1.2 minutes to 1.8 minute apart. Cuttings are planted in the furrows. Weeding is one regularly. Top dressing and herbicides applied. At 18 months, the cane is ready. It is caught using pan gas and the harvested cane loaded onto lorries for transportation to the factories. IV state the stages of sugar cane processing. Weighing of the cane. Washing of the cane. Cutting of the cane into pieces. Crushing of the cane between rollers. Boiling of the sugar. Crystallization of masculite, molasses and sucrose. Growing of sugar crystals. Separation of sugar crystals from molasses. Refining of sugar. V. Describe the steps involved in sugar processing from harvesting. The sugar cane is received and weighed while still on the lorries and tractors. The cane is passed through a machine which cuts the cane into pieces. The pieces of the cane are passed through rollers which clash the cane and squeeze out the juice. The juice is put in a clarifier to filter off the impurities. 81. The juice is put in the boilers called evaporators where it is boiled with lime under reduced pressure until it turns into syrup. The juice is further stirred in large tanks to allow for crystallization. The crystals are separated from molasses. The sugar is then bleached to white. The raw and coarse sugar is brown which is further refined bleached to whiten. The sugar is dried, cooled, grated, weighed and packed. Vi describe how sugar cane is processed to white sugar. At the factory the sugar cane is put in large tanks where it is washed. After washing sugar cane is passed through machines which cut it up into short pieces. The pieces are passed through rollers which crush the cane and squeeze out the juice. The juice is put in lacrides which separates mud from the juice. The juice is put in boilers with lime and boiled until it turns into thick syrup. The syrup is passed through vacuum pan to form masculite, molasses and sucrose crystals. The masculite is put in open tanks, crystallizers, where sugar crystals grow. The masculite is put in centrifuges where crystals are separated from molasses. 
Raw coarse sugar is obtained which is then bleached to white sugar. 3. I name three counties where sugarcane is grown commercially in Kenya. Kisumu, Bizia, Kakumga, Quail. 2. Name four byproducts of sugar processing. Molasses, wax, bay gas, filter cake, filter mud, fodder, jiggery, cane juice. 4. I explain four problems facing sugar cane farming in Kenya. Pests such as termites and diseases e.g. stunting diseases leading to low yields which eventually leads to low income to the farmers. Mismanagement of factories and cooperative societies leading to delayed payment to the farmers affecting the farmers morale. High cost of farm inputs reducing the farmers income profit margin. Occurrence of accidental fires or deliberate sabotage which destroys the cane resulting in heavy loses to the farmers. Prolonged drought destroying the quality of the cane and leading to heavy loses to the farmers and killing their morale. Poor roads leading to delayed delivery of the cane to the factories lowering the quality and consequently the profit to the farmers. Unfair competition from cheap imported sugar flooding the market. This leads to delayed payment to farmers. Delaying harvesting reduces the quality and tonnage of the cane, thus reducing the farmer's income. 82. Closure of some factories like Ramisi and Miwani has deprived some farmers of their income, while the annual closure for maintenance disrupts the farmer's calendar. To explain four problems facing sugar cane processing factories in Kenya. Occasional power outages which reduce the factory's output leading to huge losses. Frequent of machines which leads to stoppage of production. Shortage of skilled labor which has led to the hiring of foreign experts at high cost. Inadequate capital which makes it difficult for them to run smoothly and pay sugarcane. Farmers. Stiff competition from cheap imported sugar which the market for local sugar. Poorly developed roads which delay the delivery of sugarcane to the factories. Mismanagement of factories by corrupt officials which has led to their closure or heavy losses. Inadequate sugarcane as a raw material which interrupts the operations of the factories. High electricity charges that increase the cost of production making the local sugar more expensive. To explain three reasons why Kenya imports sugar yet she produces the same commodity. Hoarding of commodity by businessmen creates an artificial shortage with the motive of manipulating the price. Drought leads to crop shortage and crop failure, hence the need to import sugar. Mismanagement of the sugar industry leads to closing of the factories delay in crop, harvesting quality and quantity. The country's sugar production is lower and therefore outstrips coffee production. Sugar cane is more expensive to produce than sugar beet, hence the need to import. Pests and diseases lower sugar production causing a shortage and hence importation. Delayed payment discourages the farmers and the lowers their morale hence abandoning cane farming. 3. What are the benefits of sugar growing to the economy of Kenya? It has led to the creation of employment opportunities directly in the farms or to the related service industries as well as to the processing industries. It is a source of income to the farmers hence improving their standards of living. It produces sugar for the local market hence saving the Kenya economy for an exchange that is used to develop other sectors of the economy. The establishment of sugar mills factories in the sugar growing areas has contributed to industrial development and created employment opportunities. Sugar cane grown is a source of raw materials for some industries e.g. the manufacture of industrial spirits. The growing of sugar cane has contributed to urbanization through the development of towns e.g. Muharoni, Aindo, Kamalili DC. IV explain ways in which the Kenyan government is promoting the sugar industry. 83. Establishment of Kenya Sugar Board to advise on production, marketing of sugar, restricting sugar imports to protect farmers from flooding of cheap sugar in the market, establishing a scheme for small-scale outgrowers in production, marketing of sugar, enforcing laws to protect the farmers from exploitation by brokers, Financing research for high-yielding sugarcane. Subsidizing farm inputs to lower the cost of sugarcane production. Providing financial assistance to ailing sugar factories.
V explain why Kenya imports sugar and wheat yet she is a producer of the same products. Kenya is not self-sufficient in the two commodities due to high population. Crop failure due to drought leads to shortages necessitating importation to supplement the locally produced sugar and wheat. The high cost of production of the commodities discourages farmer from growing the two crops hence the need to import the two commodities. Mismanagement especially if sugar industry has discouraged farmers from sugar cane. Farming hence importation to supplement the low production. 5A Your class visited a sugar factory for a field study on sugar processing. I outlined four stages of sugar processing the class may have observed. 1 Weighing of the cane. 2 Chopping of the cane. 3 Crushing of the cane. 4 Boiling of the cane. 5 Filtering. 6 Grating. 7 Drying. 8 Weighing of sugar. 9 Packing, Bagging. 1 0 Crystallization. 1 1 Bleaching. B. Your class visited a plantation for a field study on land preparation and planting of sugarcane. I outline four activities that you are likely to identify. Clearing of the land, plowing of the land, harrowing, preparing seedlings, cuttings, dipping of sets and pesticides, making furrows, planting seedlings, cuttings and furrows, weeding of the crop spring with herbicides, application of fertilizers, irrigating the land. To give the methods you would use to record data during the field study, taking photographs, videotape recording, drawing sketches, note taking, filling in questionnaires, tallying, tabulating, 